For you know, blame fatigue as the key reason why Chelsea played that poor against Man United. <laughs> really? Is it really giving you an excuse now as the reason why Chelsea played that poor against Man United? I mean, he wants to blame it on fatigue now, the reason why we played that poor against Man United. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Bogatos Football Channel. I'm your humble host as usual, Boga, bringing you updates concerning Chelsea. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification button so that you don't miss out whenever I post a new video. So let's dive into it. Yes, but it you know, has given a reason why Chelsea played that poor against Chelsea. He claimed that Chelsea played that poor is because of fatigue. But can you can really be giving other excuse now? Like Chelsea is only playing once, once in a week. No European football. Uh, FA Cup ha hasn't started yet. We're only playing a League Cup twice. There's no pressure whatsoever. There, there's no even there's no reason why there should be a fatigue in Chelsea squad. I mean, you spend a billion in transfer window acquiring players. You you you, ha you just have you have enough to com 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 to be competing for top four at least. If you are doing something right now, by now we're supposed to be somewhere close. If we are not in top four, we should be somewhere close. For you to not come out and say fatigue is the real reason why Chelsea played that poor against uh, uh, Man United, just show that you are incompetent. That's how incompetent coach sound like. Despite your experience in Premier League. You spent so many years at Tottenham. You have experience. It's, it's not your first time in England. Remember, Antonio Conte come, come to England. In first season, he won Premier League with Chelsea. Now you come. I know that you have a new squad. I know that you have an inexperienced player that is still trying to, you know, to try to accommodate to your style of play. But so far, we've not seen the style of play you are trying to, to, try to play on pitch. We've not seen what you are trying to achieve. Because if there's any uh, process to trust, at least by now we, we, we would have known what uh, the kind of football you are trying to play on the pitch. Because you play, you play on which today, tomorrow you lose, tomorrow uh, the next tomorrow you draw. We are not seeing the process we are trying to bring to Stamford Bridge. Fine, we know that our owner doesn't want to talk about sack yet, but you shouldn't feel that comfortable on the job, like you you don't give. You, you, you don't care about how, how your team is playing on the pitch. You should own up to your mistake. You are already under pressure. But for you to come, on, to come out and say, fatigue is the real reason why Chelsea isn't playing well against uh, Man U. That's a total nonsense. We expect better from you, Pochettino. We expect better from you. For you to come, on, come out and say that, just show how incompetent you are right now. I don't care if you have a Premier League experience before. But for you to say that, it just shows that we are right for not even believing in you in the first place. We as a Chelsea fan, like me as a Chelsea fan, I will be glad you proved me wrong. But that kind, that kind, that kind uh, statement just shows that we shouldn't even have faith in you in the first place. Your body language in press conference alone is pissing me off. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. The way he's sounding, there's no authority, there's no confidence in him that he's going to even lead us into, let's say, top seven or top six. We are tired to stay in the mid table all season. We are tired. We are tired to be on 10th, 11th, 12th. We are just tired. We just want to move forward. We want to move forward. Even if there's any process, at least let's move forward. At least win three games in a row. Win four games in a row to move up in the table. Rather than losing all the time, losing all the time. I'm just tired of staying in the mid-table. How can you spend a billion to stay in the mid-table and stay in the mid-table and yet you as a coach, you are feeling so comfortable about, about the job. You are feeling as if no one can sack you. It's just annoying, very annoying. It's very annoying. Now, up next, we have Everton. Now, Everton also are informed. They, they are doing pretty well now. Despite, despite the 10-point deduction they had 
they just got out of their releg uh, the relegation zone by beating Newcastle yesterday, 3-0. That to show you that they have improved a lot. So going to this game now, nah, I'm not too confident going into this game. Given the fact that, given the fact the way you are playing, given your morale, the morale you are giving players on pitch, the players be playing as if they've not even trained at all. Only one game, one game at a go, one game every week, one game. We don't have European competition we are participating. We don't have any other competition. Even League Cup, now, he, 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 we only have League Cup once or twice. You only have, it's only December that we, we play two games or three games in a week. But up, up till now, we only, have, we only have to play one game per week. And you don't have any excuse to give. Totten, uh, 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 Liverpool are playing, are playing Europa. Uh, Brighton are playing Europa. Uh, and Newcastle are playing, are playing the Champions League. All that team are playing in Europe. They are still doing better than us. It's just a short a shame. I hope Gallagher comes back because uh, we of, we need them so much. In that Man U game, you can see, you can see, you can see we 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 miss him so much in that midfield. He can make all those tackle. He can he go. He can mark. You know, he can drive ball forward and feed our attackers. We like that so much. So I hope please he come. He make that starting lineup against Everton. We really need it. If you want to make something out of that game, we really need. Um, uh, what do you call it? We really need Galaga, Conor Galaga in that game. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think we we, we take out of Everton game? Because things are not looking great so far. Things are not looking. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Then I will see you in the next one. Come on, you blues.